you want something, you are discouraged. Something is telling you, I beg, you think God will help you. You think God will do it. But today, God has openly presented himself to you and I and he's telling you, ask. Come on. Why are you not asking me for what you need? God is telling you, ask me. Imagine the one who can bless you. The one who has all it takes to change your life. And you want your life to change. He has noticed that you are not asking him. And he's telling you, ask me now. Do you know why? Because he has put it that way. That you need to ask. You need to show that you believe in him. You need to show that you believe that he's existing. So you can never ask God to give you anything unless you believe. That is why the Bible says, without faith, no one can please God. Do you believe God exists? Yes. Do you believe that God can answer your prayers when you ask him? Yes. Therefore, ask. Ask. Don't fold your hand and think that blessings will just fall. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That has been our mistakes before. We thought that blessings will just fall. No way. Daniel prayed. And immediately Daniel prayed, God answered him. But he could not get it. Because we have enemies who are out to make sure that you do not testify. They don't want you to rejoice. You don't know them. You have never met them. It is not your fault. They are enemies of your God. From heaven, war broke out. And when the war broke out, the enemy was cast down. And some angels followed the enemy. And there are those who were privileged to see God's master plan for us. They were privileged to be in heaven. And they saw how God made man. That was why the psalmist said, What is man that you show him such great love? Mortal man that you care for him. And you know what? God cast the devil out and valued us more than the devil. So the devil is out to make sure that you do not testify. That is why God is telling you pray. Because prayer is of three kinds. Prayer is of three kinds. So God is telling you pray. For instance, you say, God, I beg you, give me water, give me biscuits, give me wife, give me children. That is one kind of prayer. No problem with that one. The other kind of prayer is, Lord, I worship you. You are glorious. That one, devil, not like him. And the third one is the warfare prayer, where you will challenge the powers of darkness, standing against your destiny. That one is dangerous. That one is serious. That is what we call warfare. And that's why God says you should pray. He said, ask. Never you get tired of asking. Do you know that I have prayed today for many intentions? Now look at what God said. He said, how many of you will give a snake to your child when they ask for fish? Because the devil will tell you that God will give you snake. Devil will tell you that God will not answer you, that God will say no. The devil will tell you that God will not bless you, that you are a sinner, you are not worthy, that you will suffer. And God is trying to convince you and I. And God is saying, how many of us, how many will give a serpent to a child who is begging for fish? How dare you take a scorpion and give to your child? Who has stretched forth his hand for fish? He said, We who are evil, if we are conscious of not doing that, how much more God? How much more God? I don't know what you want God to do for you. I don't know what is eating you up. I don't know what the devil has taken from you. One day, you will change the story of your family. 
One day you will put smiles on people's faces. But the Bible says, ask. I love God because God is so humble and simple. I'm telling you. He said, oh, my children, come ask now. Make you not beg me now. It's not my fault. Oh. I have programmed it this way that you must ask for you to receive. So if you do not ask, you cannot receive. And you need to ask to prove that you believe that I exist. Because without faith, you cannot place me. Without believing in me, you cannot make me happy. So ask. When you ask, you shall receive. Amen and amen. Sema Don TV. Sema Don TV. Sema Don TV. Reaching the world. Sema Don Television. Reaching the world.